Dear students, welcome to another session of introducing the subject through syllabus unit wise. Today we are dealing with the subject mobile computing. So on your screen is the subject name mobile computing. The subject code is 19 UCSC 07. And I am Anwar. I will be dealing with this subject in this semester. So we are discussing about unit 3 today. So which is entitled telecommunication system. So as you all know, in today's era, so there are lots of telecommunication systems starting from cell phones, from landline phones, we have pages, we have smartphones, all these things are trying to send some data. So, and what is the technology that is governing them? So, we will be looking at this in this chapter. So, we are going to talk about the GSM and the subtopics related with them are the mobile services related with GSM, system architecture of a GSM, radio interface which is running the total GSM fracture, then we have some protocols which is governing the GSM body, we have localization and calling. So localization is something that how a device so which is inside the area gets connected with the tower which is nearby and calling is something that how two devices are getting their technology wise communication done in a very perfect way. We will be talking about handover. Handover is something that we will be discussing about how a system on the move or a device on the move is not able to get dis disconnected with the data. Last we have the security. So wherein the data has been sent in a very secure and a safe way. The GSM comprises of all these areas. Then talking about the next concept, we are going to discuss about UMTS and IMT2000. So these are all the two new terminologies which we will be seeing in telecommunication system. So we will be seeing about the releases and standardization starting from the inception. We will be talking about UMTS system architecture. We will be talking about radio interface. Then we will be talking about EMTS handover. In this, we are supposed to see UTRAN, which is a new basis of UMTS. So, as you all see on this slide, so we will be able to see what kind of technologies that have been running or governing all the telecommunication systems. So, this is a small uh, survey data, so which is given to you on the screen. So, with 107 million TDMA users, 135 million CDMA and 16 million GSM users. So why are we discussing about this GSM? Because the GSM has a very big part to play in the new era of telecommunication system. So how are we seeing that? So This is why a GSM is very convenient way. So GSM is nothing but global system for mobile communication. The most successful digital mobile telecommunication system wherein 800 million people are using all over the world. So why is this happening? Because a landline phone which is not in use regularly right now. So this can be connected with a smartphone or a wireless telephone which can be used in a very effective communication way. So how is this possible? A wired communication device is able to connect it with wireless communication device. So this is where the GSM plays its part. So we will be discussing in this. The mobile services that is provided by GSM, so which is used to transfer different voice and data services in internet networking with the existing system. So GSM is very convenient and easily mingling with other technologies where we can be able to do its magic. So to see about the system architecture of the GSM, so we have three subsystems here. We have RSS, we have NSS and we have OSS. So radio subsystem, network and switching subsystem and operation subsystem. As you see in the diagram, so which is not to be discussed now, right now in a very elaborated way. So we will be seeing it in a later discussion. Radio interface is something that we will be using SDMA technology for GSM. So wherein in unit 2 we have discussed about SDMA. So space division multiple access. So every user gets his space wherein the frequencies are distributed evenly and through these frequencies we are able to send our data. To talk about the protocols which are governing the GSM, as you can see, the diagram is telling you the stack protocol stack. So various n number of protocol stacks has been implemented here. So we'll be looking at, looking at it in a very elaborated way. So for UMTS, the expansion is Universal Mobile Telecommunication System, so which was started in Europe, and this is the inception from the second generation, moving on to the third generation. And the IMT, International Mobile Telecommunication. So, uh, wherein the common co worldwide system communication followed for user mobility. So, as you can see on the picture, how 
all kinds of devices and all kinds of amenities are being used in telecommunication system using wireless technology. So meet you soon in the class for an elaborated discussion. Thank you all.